You'd better have an excellent reason to visit Ljubljana if you've never there. It's a clean, forward-thinking city in the heart of Slovenia with Italian-influenced architecture. Ljubljana owes some of its charm to a natural disaster. In 1895, an earthquake leveled entire neighborhoods. However, this merely gave visionaries like Joe Planet carte blanche to create Art Nouveau masterpieces out of the ruins. Ljubljana is youthful, hip, and as green as they come. It was named European Green Capital in 2016, despite the fact that it is located in a region of Europe that isn't always known for its environmental friendliness. The city center is now mostly car-free, with low-emission public transportation and a new bike network. Let's have a look at some of the top things to see and do in Ljubljana. Number 1. Pressure and Square, located near the Ljubljana, is where the city gathers to celebrate. There's a considerable probability that if there's an event in Ljubljana, it'll take place here. The square, which has a rough triangular shape and is at the confluence of several major arteries, got its current luxurious aspect following the earthquake in 1895. This is when regal halls replaced the medieval homes that had previously been here, joining the 1795 Broke Church of the Annunciation. The square is named after Franz Prescherin, a 19th-century poet whose poem Zidrovlegza, or a toast, became Slovenia's national song. His statue can be found across the square, from his unrequited love and muse Julia Jepremic, close to the central pharmacy. 2. Triple Bridge in fact, Triple Bridge is a series of three bridges that span the Lubolianica River and connect Prezren Square with the Old Town. The bridges, which are located side by side, were designed by architect Jose Plechnik, who added lovely stone balustrades that are attractively illuminated by soft lights once night falls. Although it is strange that the three are so close together, this is due to the addition of two pedestrian bridges in 1930 to complement the main bridge, which was designed primarily for automobile traffic. In any event, Triple Bridge is a must-see attraction in Ljubljana. Its polished characteristics result in some fantastic photographs. 3. Ljubljana Castle perched on a hill and surrounded by trees, commands a commanding view of the old town and is one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. While archaeological examinations show that the mount has been in continuous usage since at least 1200 BC, the castle was constructed in the 11th century, with the majority of its buildings and fortifications dating from later decades. As a result, there are a variety of architectural styles on display. It is highly worth visiting the castle's magnificent Slovenian history exhibition if you want to learn everything there is to know about the castle and Slovenia's past. The amazing murals in the Chapel of St. George, as well as the castle's tall watchtower, which offers spectacular views of the city, are two of the castle's other key attractions. For Tivoli, Ljubljana's largest park is located just west of the city center and spans a significant area of land. It is a wonderfully tranquil location to meander about, with loads of gorgeous nature on display, with exquisitely groomed gardens and a stunning botanical gardens on offer. While some areas are well kept and manicured, others are wild and undeveloped, with walkways and trails running through the trees and past the sports fields. Some magnificent buildings can be found tucked away in or near the park, the most spectacular of which are Seekin Mansion and Tivoli Castle, the former of which currently houses the Contemporary History Museum. Tivoli Park, which is as popular with locals as it is with tourists, is great if you want to get a taste of nature without leaving the city. 5. Ljubljana River Trip The Ljubljana River runs through the city, dividing it in half. There are numerous locations to visit in Ljubljana that are located along or near the river, but you should begin your sightseeing in Ljubljana with a walk along the Ljubljana. Because this is where Ljubljana's heart beats, it's a great way to get a sense of the city and its vibe. 
the banks of the Ljubljana River, with their various bridges and trees jutting into the river, are a lovely place to walk around or rest at one of the many cafes. I'm sure you return here several times throughout your visit to Ljubljana because it's the city's most lovely area. On the left bank of the river, at the Bregg Embankment, you can join a cruise boat for a ride along the Ljubljana. It's arguably the greatest way to view the Triple Bridge, as well as the arcade and colonnade on the revitalized waterfront beside it, designed by Joe Plenick. The tours run an hour and include a narration of the attractions. This trip can also be done in a canoe or on a stand-up paddleboard if you truly want to try something new. 6. The Franciscan Church of the Annunciation, which is located on Presren Square, dominates its surroundings in terms of both size and color and is difficult to overlook. The huge edifice, which was built between 1646 and 1660 and is currently painted in eye-catching salmon pink, is located at a short distance from the Ljubljana River. The church, which has a beautiful broke exterior flanked by two bell towers set further back, is one of the most important in the city and has a rich interior to match. The superb ceiling frescoes were repainted in the 1930s after the old ones were damaged in an earthquake, and the 18th century altarpiece is another fine example. 7. City Hall Since the 15th century, the municipal seat has been located on Town Square. The original Gothic structure was remodeled in the Venetian Baroque style in the early 18th century, according to plans drawn out by Italian architect Carlo Martinuzzi. A plaque from the Gothic predecessor with the city's coat of arms, as well as a sculpture of Hercules and the Ninian lion from a vanished fountain dating from the 1600s, may be found in the vestibule. Exhibitions are held at the town hall, and you may also sign up for a tour of areas that are normally closed to the public. A magnificent fountain by artist Francesco Rabo representing Narcissus is a feature of the main courtyard. 8. Rabo Fountain Even if you've seen the original sculpture in the National Gallery, you should stop in front of the town hall to see this fountain, which is a symbol of Ljubljana. This is a duplicate of the original, which was taken down in 2006 for safekeeping. It's another work by Francesco Raba, and it features three masculine men pouring water from jugs, as the title suggests. These are the three rivers that go through Carniola, the Ljubljana, Sava, and Kurka. The design is based on Rome's Fountain of the Four Rivers in Piazza Navona, right down to the obelisk above the fountain. 9. Ljubljana Zoo To get to the city zoo, go from Tivoli Park to the lower slopes of Ronick Hill. The attraction is surrounded by hills, forests, and meadows, and the animals enjoy large, healthy settings despite their small stature. In a unique environment where the Alps meet the Pannonian Plain and the Mediterranean, there are creatures from all over the world, as well as an emphasis on maintaining Slovenia's wildlife. There are 119 species in all at the zoo, with around 500 individual creatures. Cheetahs, sea lions, Asian elephants, and a pair of Siberian tigers, all new to the zoo in August 2017, are audience favorites. At a typical Slovenian farm, you can witness the sea lions and pelicans being fed at scheduled times throughout the day and get to know the creatures. 10. The Cathedral of St. Nicholas with its characteristic green dome and twin belfries, is one of Ljubljana's most identifiable emblems. It can easily be seen peeping above the rooftops as you travel throughout the city. The current cathedral, which boasts some stunning Baroque architecture, was built in 1707, while earlier Gothic and Romanesque versions had stood on the same site since at least 1262. The inside, on the other hand, is the star of the show, with beautiful paintings by Giulio Quaglio and a dome painted by Matevs Langis. A visit to the Cathedral of St. Nicholas is a visual feast, with magnificent stuccos and sculptures, as well as dramatic scenes reflecting the history of the church in Slovenia.